Book distribution to colleges, libraries, and universities. I am also pleased to note that they are going to purchase my books 30 to 35 sets. That is a great boon for us. If we can introduce our books in these colleges and universities, it will be great prestige for the society and myself also personally. So let us do this business as an experiment. Srila Prabhupada Letter to Brahmananda, 10th of December 1969. Our Isha Upanishad is now published. This excellent book of God consciousness should be introduced as a study book for school and college students because it is so nicely explained about God consciousness. Any sincere gentleman serious about knowing God consciousness must read this book. A little education will make everyone aware what is meant by God. It is a challenge to the atheists, agnostics, skeptics, and gross materialists. Please get this book in quantities from Boston and try to introduce it. Srila Prabhupada letter to Kirtananda Maharaj, 18th February, 1970. I am so glad to learn that you are having nice success in placing my books in the libraries and in schools and colleges. That is very much to my satisfaction. So please continue your program for placing these Krishna consciousness literatures in all the libraries and schools and colleges. I am sure that this will revolutionize the thinking of the thoughtful men of your country, as well as the students and professors, and the ultimate end will be to save the world from the clutches of material, illusory activities, which is now causing havoc everywhere. Srila Prabhupada letter to Karindar, September 13, 1970. So I can see that there is very good potency at the present moment for spreading this movement, as was desired by my guru, Maharaj. And I am simply trying my best to carry out his desire. And if some of my students adopt this attitude, without any other motivation, Surely Krishna will fulfill our desire. So push on with book publication and distribution. And I am very glad that you are now distributing to schools and libraries. Srila Prabhupada letter to Bhagavan Das, September 22, 1970. Please see that there is a very strong program for placing our books and literatures in all the libraries, schools, and colleges of your country. That will be a great boon to the thoughtful men of your society. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rupanuga. September 25th, 1970. I am especially pleased that you are taking charge in the Boston area of placing my books and literatures in the local school, college, libraries. And you have already had success with placing all our literatures in the two most important libraries of Harvard University and the Divinity School. When I spoke there sometimes back, our Krishna consciousness philosophy was very much appreciated. So I think this is an important place for our literatures to be available to the students and faculty. Please go on with this engagement enthusiastically, and Krishna will give you all success in the venture. You are an intelligent and hard-working devotee of Krishna, and Krishna will bless you for this very fine service which you are rendering unto him. Srila Prabhupada letter to Dinesh, September 25th, 1970. I am very glad to learn that the program for distributing our books in the libraries and classrooms is having such outstanding success. I have already assured this and have personally placed my books formally in the library of Bombay, which they were very glad to accept. So press this matter until every library and school has fully stocked our literature and that will be a very real success. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rupanuga, November 13, 1970. I am very glad that your distribution to the libraries is well received. Please get our books, at least one full set, in every city and college library in your neighboring areas. And if you read these literatures carefully, you will realize the topmost science of Krishna consciousness and be more inspired to spread the same to all persons as their real welfare benefit. Srila Prabhupada letter to Bumsidari, November 16th, 1970. I hope you are trying to place our books in the libraries and schools and colleges. The program is everywhere very successful, so you please do this very thoroughly in your area, and it will be a great service. Srila Prabhupada letter to Krishna Kanti, November 29, 1970. Also continue placing my books in libraries, 
colleges, bookstores, etc. And gradually the public will learn to appreciate this stock of transcendental literature. People are accustomed to read all kinds of rubbish literatures. The principle is there, reading. We simply have to direct their attention to Krishna. Srila Prabhupada letter to Bhagavan Das, November 30th, 1970. These engagements at schools and college is the most important task. If schools become interested with our philosophy and we can introduce these books, then it is our success. A little effort in this direction is sure to be successful because these are completely new thoughts for the Western world, the science of God. And because the West is scientific-minded, they will take it up. We should try for this vigorously. Once they take up Krishna consciousness in the colleges, it will be the greatest success. We've got books, and we've got the Dr. Stahl correspondence. Let the school authorities inquire about it. These are the propaganda items. This task should especially be trusted to Hayagriva Prabhu, because he is in one university, not just Hayagriva, but all of you who are college graduates. You know better than me how to introduce these books into the schools. Also, recently I have received one report from Jagadish, and he is distributing our books nicely. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rupanuga, December 1st, 1970. Yes, I am so glad to learn that you are distributing our books in colleges and schools so nicely. Actually, this Krishna consciousness movement is a novel proposition to the world. The world is suffering on account of atheistic conviction of life. So our theistic proposition presenting Krishna, the Supreme Lord, is certainly a great relief to the agnostics, atheists, impersonalists, and voidists. In all our books, we have very scientifically covered all such demons. And if these books are introduced in the schools and colleges, so many beautiful souls will be saved. You are doing a great service to humanity to introduce our books to the people in general. So far as preaching through television, the mantras of Ishopanishad is concerned, that will be a great success to do so. Srila Prabhupada letter to Nayana Baram, December 1st, 1970. Our literatures are unique in the world and we want to introduce our philosophy in learned circles. So your report of library distribution is good news for me. Keep trying to place my books in auspicious places, such as libraries, universities, clubs, etc., and someday the world will realize and appreciate these transcendental literatures. Srila Prabhupada letter to Bhagavan Das, December 18th, 1970. I am very glad to learn that you are trying to distribute our books. Please continue with this program, as it is so very important. Especially try to place our books in the schools and libraries. Our literatures are for the intelligent class also. Srila Prabhupada letter to Gopal Krishna, January 21st, 1971. I am glad to see that incense distribution is increasing, and your method of distribution, that is, with our literature, prasadam, etc., is very nice. So continue it. I am especially pleased at how you are distributing our books, particularly to the schools and universities. This program is so important and should be increased more and more. We want to flood the world over with our books. So go on in this way, and Krishna will surely bless you. Srila Prabhupada letter to Sri Govinda, January 21st, 1971. It is a very nice way to distribute our literature and gain support for our movement, especially from the higher circles. Also, book distribution to the schools, libraries, and various institutions is most important. So try and increase on these programs more and more. Srila Prabhupada letter to Ranadir, February 16th, 1971. Also, book distribution is a very important program, and you should give much attention to developing it. Anyone reading our Krishna book, Teachings of Lord Chaitanya, The Nectar of Devotion, and Bhagavad Gita as it is, he is sure to become a Krishna conscious person. So, somehow or other, either through schools, colleges, libraries, life membership program, or ordinary sales, we must push on this literature distribution program. It is so important, 
and a most valuable service to Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Letter to Vamanadev, March 5th, 1971. Some way or other, we have to push these literatures, whether through schools, colleges, libraries, membership, or ordinary sales. In your country, practically there is no illiteracy. Everyone can read and write. So, when they will read Krishna book, certainly they will enjoy this as a story or as philosophy, morality, religion, etc. And gradually, they will become perfect in Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada letter to Karandar, March 18, 1971. You should be very enthusiastic for distributing our books to schools, colleges, libraries, bookstores, and wherever else you can imagine that they will be well received. Srila Prabhupada letter to Shukadev, March 25th, 1971. Now you are beginning to preach at the universities. That is a very good program, so increase it more and more. It is also a, a good opportunity for distributing our books. You should give much effort for book distribution. It is such a valuable service. Simply if one will read our Krishna book, Teachings of Lord Chaitanya, Nectar of Devotion and Bhagavad Gita as it is, he will surely become a Krishna conscious person. So somehow or other distribute these books either in schools and colleges, libraries, through life membership, bookstores, or wherever else you think they might be accepted, do so with enthusiasm and determination, and Krishna will surely help you. Srila Prabhupada letter to Nityananda Das, April 1st, 1971. Push on your program at schools and colleges vigorously, as you have been doing, and try to teach classes there also. That affords the ideal opportunity for introducing our books. Try and get Krishna book and Bhagavad Gita as it is, recommended by the professors. Door to Door Sankirtan is a very nice program also, and a very nice means for distributing the books, so increase it more and more. Srila Prabhupada letter to Krishna Kanti, April 11th, 1971. Your report of temple activities in your zone is very much encouraging. In all those centers, you should especially emphasize the book distribution program in schools, colleges, libraries, etc. That is most important program. So tax your brain how to increase it more and more, and Krishna will surely help you. Srila Prabhupada letter to Jagadish, April 11th, 1971. It is so much encouraging to hear how you are introducing this Krishna consciousness movement in the schools and colleges there. Especially, this is an ideal opportunity for distributing our books also. So you should make all serious endeavor in this connection. These books are so potent that anyone who reads them is sure to become Krishna conscious. So it is a very valuable service to distribute our books. Srila Prabhupada letter to John Milner, April 22, 1971. So Krishna will give you all intelligence how to push on this movement. Already you have a program for preaching at the university, and you should continue this program more and more. The universities are always a good field for preaching and distributing our literatures also. So work very hard and just depend on Krishna, and surely you will be successful. Srila Prabhupada letter to Sri Galim, September 25th, 1971. Please try to distribute our books very, very widely in all languages. That will push our movement very rapidly. We are now preparing a book on philosophical discussions. Shama Sundar is daily discussing with me the views of the different Western philosophers, and we are studying them from the ISKCON point of view. This work is going on regularly, and Aravinda is typing them regularly. So very soon a book will come out. When I go back to India, I shall review all the Indian systems of philosophy also from this angle of vision, so that this book will be very much interesting to the student class in the schools and the colleges. Try to encourage all our centers to go to the schools and colleges and introduce our philosophy, books, and literatures. Srila Prabhupada to Karandar, October 16, 1971. I am very pleased that you have accepted the responsibility of managing such an important center as Berkeley. I know that there are many students in that city, so just attract them to our Krishna consciousness movement by giving them prasadam, 
in our Krishna philosophy. We can challenge any nonsense philosophy. Socrates, Plato, Kant, Darwin, all of them. So many mental speculators and word jugglers who have misled so many people. Now it is your task to find them out and expose them so that the people may appreciate the real philosophy. We must become now very serious to save the people of the world from this very dangerous situation. So become very convinced yourself of our philosophy and then your preaching will act. And try to sell as many books as possible at all the schools and colleges. This is scholarly information, flawless science. Kindly assist me in this great work and know it for certain that by your sincerely working in this way, you shall very soon go back home, back to Godhead. Srila Prabhupada letter to Lochandas, November 24th, 1971. All programs must go on, but it is a fact that this book distribution program is very, very important. It is real preaching work, but I think this program for TV and radio is not so important. There are so many TV programs. Someone will see us on TV, and then right after they will see some other nonsense, and they will forget. Therefore, it is better for them to read my books. But I think your proposal for seriously organizing the college programs is first class. If this program is conducted in the proper fashion, it can be our biggest book distribution outlet. I am convinced of this. You are advanced devotee, and you should use your intelligence to convince the professors that they should use my books in the colleges. This will be the greatest service. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rupanuga, 14th of February, 1973. The report of book distribution going on in Chicago is very pleasing to me. As you know, our Chicago Center is one of the most important. Please continue to use your intelligence to find out how to distribute my books more and more. I am especially pleased to learn that you are introducing my books as textbooks in the colleges. We especially have to try to attract the educated young men and women in your country so that in the future there will be many strong leaders to keep our Krishna consciousness movement strong. Srila Prabhupada letter to Govinda Das, 7th of April, 1973. Yes, by all means, you may print my morning walk speaking about life comes from life into a small book. This argument should be spread as any intelligent man will be convinced that our discussion is thoroughly scientific and exposes the so-called materialistic scientists as rascals. So go on printing and distributing as many books as possible. This is your real work and your personal success. Srila Prabhupada letter to Ham Sadhuta, 21st of April, 1974. The report of the BBT traveling party is something new for us, and this is also only the beginning. Please give my heartfelt thanks to the boys, Sriman Mahabudi Das Brahmachari and Sriman Ganesham Das Brahmachari. These books are specifically meant for the intellectual class of people in your country, and I have great hope in the results of this preaching at the universities. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwara, 9th of May, 1974. It is very encouraging that many professors have purchased books for themselves and are considering to order them for their students. I very much like this program of the standing orders. Try to increase it up to 50,000 such orders from the libraries. I have written to Bali Mardan Goswami in this connection regarding the remark that distributing a book to a professor is a hundred times better than to an ordinary man? I never said that. I said it was very important. Srila Prabhupada letter to Satsrup Das, 8th of August, 1974. Your letter is very much pleasing to me with the report of the book distribution. Whenever I get a report of my book selling, I feel strength. Even now in this weakened condition, I have got strength from your report. You should know that in this work, you have Krishna's blessings. You are a sincere worker. Right from the very beginning, when you join me, you have always been a sincere worker. Therefore, I keep you as GBC. You may not be a good manager, but whatever I say you accept. These are all good qualifications. Others should follow your example and take instruction from you to push on this library program. I have instructed Tamal Krishna Goswami that he can also do this library program. 
The American people are very intelligent. Therefore, I concentrate on the Americans for spreading this movement. They are not crippled by poverty like here in India. In India, of course, the people are naturally Krishna conscious. Whenever we have some Krishna conscious program, they come by the thousands, but they are crippled by poverty. Therefore, it is difficult for them to take this movement seriously. So you go on with your work there in America and distribute my books to these libraries. This is very encouraging to me to write more books. Srila Prabhupada letter to Satsvarup Das Goswami, September 2nd, 1974. Thank you for sending the book reviews. They are very encouraging to me. As much as possible, we want our books to be accepted by all learned circles of men. Regarding sending books freely to any library, the system that you can adopt is to send the books and tell them to read them over for one week's time. If they do not like the book, they should send it back at our cost. If they like it and want it, then they can send the amount of money to us, whatever the book sells for. But we cannot give the books away for free to anyone. They must be paid for. Srila Prabhupada letter to Kirti Raj Das, 28th of May, 1975. Your success of book distribution to the libraries has given me great pleasure. Gopal Krishna has discussed with me the problem of selling books imported under the present CCP. We are planning to import books for sale to libraries through an importer of books in Delhi. The arrangements will be finalized in about two weeks, and then we will be able to supply you with all the books you need for libraries. This distribution of books to the libraries is very encouraging. Please expand this program all over India. In one library carrying my books, hundreds of people will be able to read. Srila Prabhupada, letter to Abhinanda Das and Gopishwar Das, 17th of August, 1975. Yes, my books should be introduced as regular reading in all courses. There are many evidences of the professor's certificates. So these can be utilized as proof of how our books are being appreciated. Now, Jayavana Swami has made one inquiry from the Nobel Foundation for getting myself recognized as Nobel Prize for Literature. Enclosed is the correspondence, and you will see that one can be nominated by professors of literature and theology at universities and university colleges. So I think if you take up this matter and pursue it, you can get some professors to make the recommendation, such as Professor Judah, who is very familiar with our movement. Also enclosed is one letter from Kartikeya Madhava, who suggests in this regard, also Mukunda Prabhu from London has telephoned that the Encyclopedia Britannica will be containing an article of 350 words on myself in their publication. Srila Prabhupada letter, Satsrut Maharaj, 9th of November, 1975. The report of the BBT Library Party is very encouraging to me that the main library of Harvard told us they would be honored to complete the collection of our books. Just see, this is wonderful. Still, University of New Brunswick has ordered our books even though they do not order religious books. This is a success. This quote by the head of their religion department of Oberlin is very important. I think the best feature of the Hare Krishna movement is that it is providing scholars with authorized translations of the rarest books on Krishna Bhakti. This should be quoted and printed in a pamphlet. Also the fact that at Colorado Springs Library, eight volumes of their Bhagavatams have been taken out seven times in the past year. This should be published. You print one poster, big type, and put the quotation of Oberlin Professor. You can title it, how our books are being received, and have the quotation of the professor, the professor's remarks. This will be a good advertisement for our books. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwar Das, 14th of November, 1975. On the whole, it is very encouraging that the professors like our books. This is our success. This quotation is very important. One professor went on to explain, that the other books were mostly dealing with speculations in contrast to our books, which presented religion as a way of life based on authentic writings. This is a very good quote. This should be publicized, and it should be published 
in the new book that is being presented of all the quotations. The Hare Krishna movement is authorized. As I had ordered you to preach and distribute to the libraries, so you are doing. So I am very pleased with your activities. Now continue and increase. Everyone will want our books. We will always have customers. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. Srila Prabhupada Letter 2, Ganesham Das, 20th of November, 1975. Now, you and all your men are experienced in distributing books to the libraries. If you can get our books placed in the public libraries, it will be a great victory. Do whatever you think best to make this possible. Yes, the reviews you are getting are very important. Many times I am showing them to influential gentlemen. Srila Prabhupada letter to Satsrup Maharaj, 5th of January, 1976. I am always very much pleased with our library party's preaching. Your work is most important. Rameshwara has sent me some recent review from professors, and there is no doubt that these intelligent men are deriving benefit from reading my books. These reviews make me very encouraged. Also, the Krishna Consciousness Movement is authorized has come out very nicely. The review or appreciation of your lecture sent by the professor shows that they are appreciating how nicely our men can present this perfect philosophy of Krishna Consciousness. Go on vigorously expanding this preaching. You are proceeding in the right way. It is good that now you have arranged for independent support of the party. Srila Prabhupada letter to Satsrup Das Goswami, 22nd of January, 1976. I have received a letter from Gopal Krishna wherein he states that you are distributing our books to libraries. That is solid. Simply by bluffing words, these bogus gurus and yogis are actually accomplishing nothing. But when the people read our books, then they will get good opinion. Srila Prabhupada letter to Amoga Das, 18th of February, 1976. Please accept my blessings. I am in due receipt of your letter dated May 8, 1976, and I have noted the contents with great pleasure. Continue with this program of standing orders. It is very important preaching work. At least if they read their books, they will not speak nonsense that kirtan is nuisance. I have asked Gopal Krishna in Tejas Das to keep sufficient stock of all our books so that we can supply the standing orders immediately. They very much appreciate the fine printing and color illustrations, which are not available in other Indian publications. So somehow or other introduce these books into the universities and libraries like that. Srila Prabhupada letter to Mahabudi and Library Party, 11th of May, 1976. I am in due receipt of your letters, along with a list of standing orders thus far received. The Library Party is doing very nicely. It is nectar to my ears to hear the list of schools which are taking our standing order. Srila Prabhupada letter to Amogadas, 6th of June, 1976.